of the things I've been meaning to do is add a little preamp to my Taylor detector board that I've been playing around with. I'd originally planned on using the uh, MMG3 uh, device, uh, which is the preamp that's used in the Magnus radio that I played around with before. But I have a pile of these Mars 6 monolithic amplifiers from mini circuits, so I thought I'd use one of those. What you're looking at here is the datasheet for the Mars 6M. Uh, and just a quick note, uh, mine aren't genuine, but knockoffs from eBay. You can see this little amp uh, runs from DC to 2 GHz, is internally matched to 50 ohms, and it does give about a 20 dB gain. And the combination of those three together with this low noise figure make it ideal, at least I think, uh, to uh, uh, create a preamp for, uh, for my Talo board. The datasheet has an application example, which I'll quickly scroll down to now that describes how you're to uh, use this in circuit. And you can see here it's a pretty simple setup. So basically you have to have blocking capacitors on the input, pin 1, and on the output, pin 3. Pins 4 and 2 are grounded. And then you supply power through to pin 3 through this bias resistor, which is dependent on the, uh, on the uh, VCC that you're using. So I'll be using 12 volts. I don't have any 536 uh, ohm um, resistors, so uh, I'll be using a 510 ohm. And then they say that this RFC is optional here. Uh, I have actually included an RFC on the circuit that I'm using. Um, so anyway, so the as you can see, the application circuit is pretty simple. So let's uh, quickly move now to uh, kind of having a look at the physical appearance of the device and how you identify the pins. Okay, so I've got the uh, Mars 6 projected up onto my uh, computer monitor here from my, from my microscope. So excuse the amateurish setup, but here's the device right here, and you can see how small it is for the purpose of the comparison. This is the point of a pencil here. Um, so this is the device. Uh, it's, it is an unusual package. Um, four pin device, and uh, this pin here is pin one. This is pin 3 over the other side, the opposite side. This is pin 2, and this is pin 4. Um, it is actually pretty easy to uh, get down onto a board. So uh, let's have a look at uh, the board I've created right now, and we'll see it in uh, action. Okay, so here's the, uh, the board that I've created here, and you can see here's the uh, Mar 6 right here in the middle of the board. There's those two blocking capacitors. Oh, and I will, uh, just to note, I, I will include the keycad schematics for this. It's a, it's a simple setup. So these are two 0 0.01 microfarad, uh, 0 0.1 microfarad caps. There's the Mars 6. Uh, this is just some simple uh, power supply filtering here. There's that 510 ohm resistor, the bias resistor. Here's an RFC, which is a T3743 with, uh, I think, about 10 windings on it. Power comes in here, these two lines here, and that's going to be 12 volts. Uh, and I've got a couple of pieces of coax on the input and on the output, and there's a pair of B and C connectors uh, on, those, uh, on those pieces of coax on the other side. Um, so anyway, uh, so what we'll do now is uh, I'll, I've got the uh, signal generator set up to uh, output a signal at 14 megahertz. We'll hook it up to the oscilloscope and we'll see the output. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the test setup. So here's the board that we we're just looking at. Here's the input signal, which is coming from the uh, signal generator. So you can see there I'm going to uh, use, be using 14 megahertz. I'm going to start at minus 30 dBm, no, though not minus 40. And then on the output side, here's the output coax, and that goes off to uh, my oscilloscope. Now, this is a, there's a 50 ohm terminator in my oscilloscope here, so uh, this oscilloscope doesn't have a, a 50, 50 ohm impedance uh, input uh, uh, setting, so you have to, have to manually do it. So anyway, let's have a look at the oscilloscope, and uh, we'll see the... Uh, the amplification in action. So as I said, we're at uh, minus 40 dB now. Let's, let's actually go up to minus 30 dB. Um, bear with me. Amplitude minus 30 dBm. So you can see there, what we're getting is around about a 200 millivolt peak-to-peak -peak signal. 
Now, 30 dBm into a 50 ohm load is 20 millivolts peak to peak. So you can see there that we're getting a tenfold voltage gain or around about 20 dBs of, uh, of actual gain. Uh, so that's at minus 30 dBm. Let's go to minus 40 dBm. Minus 40 dBm. Now minus 40 dBm uh, is 6.3 millivolts into a uh, 50 ohm load. And you can see there that's around about 70 millivolts uh, peak to peak signal. So again, that tenfold voltage gain. So let's go down to minus 50 dBm now. And you can see the signal's getting a little bit harder to harder to uh, for the oscilloscope to get, gather there, uh, but you can see there that's around about a 25, 24 uh, millivolt peak to peak signal, and at 50 dBm's into a 50 ohm load is two millivolts peak to peak. So again, that consistent uh, uh, 20 dB gain. So let's just uh, just for yucks and giggles, let's go up to uh, let's go back to um, minus 30 dBs. And we'll go down to 7 megahertz. So you can see there that, so minus 30 dBs, that's a 20 millivolt peak to peak on the input. And you can see that's a pretty consistent 200 millivolts or a tenfold voltage gain on output. Uh, so consistent between 7 and 14, and I believe it's consistent. I mean, if I go up to 30 megahertz, let's see. Let's just try that. You can see there again, that's 180 millivolts peak to peak, but I'm sure we're getting some uh, some attenuation in the oscilloscope itself. So anyway, that's uh, that's the, uh, the the preamp uh, sort of tested, uh, and we are indeed getting around about a 20 dBs of gain. So the next stage is to uh, get this sort of hacked into my Talo detector board, um, and so let's uh, move on right to that. I've got to do some uh, cutting of traces on the Talo board. Um, definitely what I want to do, I mean, obviously the, the thing that I want to do here is create another rev of the Talo board that has this preamp uh, built into it, uh, along with some other things that, uh, that I want to do, do to it too. So for the moment though, we'll have to hack it into the board. So let's have a look how we're going to do that. Okay, so I've got the schematic of my uh, Talo detector board up here. And uh, so just to show where we're going to insert that little preamp is I'm going to cut this trace here between the bandpass filter and the splitter and then I'm going to insert a little uh, sort of toggle switch uh, DPDT toggle switch so I can turn the preamp off and on uh, but the preamp will go between the uh, bandpass filter here and the splitter here so let's have a quick look on the board where that's going to be and then uh, what we'll do is uh, I'll get that installed and we'll do some measurements okay so here's the uh, board uh patched in uh, to that. I actually uh, populated another board. I didn't want to uh, disrupt the, the other board that I had. But you can see there it's patched in between the output of the bandpass filter and the input of the splitter right here. Uh, I'd actually tried to put a double pole, double throw switch in there. I, I mean, I knew it wouldn't be optimal because, you know, throwing wires everywhere with the uh, RF is never a good idea, but the double pole, double throw switch was a completely disaster. It didn't work at all. Uh, in fact, it was kind of producing oscillations in this uh, in this amplifier here. At least that was my suspicion. The output was just uh, was just garbage. But anyway, uh, this uh, even though not optimal does work. Um, so let's have a look and uh, we'll have a look at the uh, output trace on the oscilloscope and I did take some readings prior to um, uh, prior to putting the uh, preamp in there just to see what uh, what it was giving giving so uh, let's have a look at that right now all right so here's the uh, here's the output right here um, com currently injecting uh, uh, an RF signal at 14.2 megahertz at minus 60 dBm's. Uh, before I installed the preamp, the output audio was 150 millivolt peak to peak. And you can see there the peak to peak now is up at uh, one volt. So obviously that's the, that's the thing with this preamp. There's no control on it. There's no control of the gain on it. So um, I can't even go above minus 50 dB's here. Uh, well, let, let, let me show you what happens when I do that. So if I go 
minus 50 dB, you can see there's kind of distortion in the output audio. Um, so anyway, minus 60 dBs, uh, it goes from uh, 150 millivolts peak to peak to up to 1.1 volt. So let's try uh, minus uh, 70 dBm. So minus 70 dBm, originally it was 60 millivolts peak to peak on the audio. And you can see there it's now 376 millivolts peak to peak on the output audio. Uh, so obviously that's a, a five, six fold improve, uh, increase in the output audio. Let's go down to minus 80. And originally it was 40 millivolts peak to peak on the audio output. Uh, and now it's 136-ish millivolts uh, peak to peak on, on the output. Um, and uh, whereas before I could uh, barely distinguish the sound at uh, minus 90 dBm, uh, now I can hear it quite clearly. So let's, uh, what I'll do is I'll connect that up to the speaker and you'll be able to see that. Okay, so for the final test, as you can see, it's at minus 90 dBm. And I've got the sound coming out of this speaker over here. Sorry for the, uh, the crazy setup here. Uh, you can he hear there's quite a bit of hiss on that speaker, but uh, you can hear that uh, signal quite clearly. So let's go up to minus 80. That's minus 70 dBm. Minus, back to minus 90. And even at minus 100, it's kind of faded out at minus 110 there. So that's minus 100 dBm. So anyway. That's uh, basically uh, what I wanted to do for this video. Now, obviously, uh, one of the things I, I do want to play around with this a little bit more, and uh, I, I've been thinking about spinning a sort of a next version of this Talo detector board. And I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, I'll integrate this preamp into the board um, so we have a much better setup here. Um, and then, uh, you know, come back and uh, sort of, you can see the results of that uh, in, the, in an updated video. But anyway, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, links and all that to the documents that I've showed today will be in the uh, video description. Catch you later.